Hi, this is John Morales and welcome to my series on nailing your exposures. In this installment, I'm going to talk about histograms, what they are and how to use them. You've probably seen histograms on the back of your camera or in your computer when you're working in Photoshop. And maybe you have an idea of what they are, but you're not exactly sure how to use them to create great results with your images. So in this installment, I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. I'm going to make this short and sweet, so here we go. Okay, we're going to start here with a print of one of my images. And normally the computer or your camera would create a histogram, but we're going to do it here on paper. A histogram is simply a bar graph and you have on one axis you have a range of, of values from completely black which is zero and completely white which is 255. In any photo there are 256 levels between complete black and complete white. Uh, now the reason why it's 255 over here on the right and not 256 is because, because we start with zero. So zero is our number one and then one, two, all the way up to 255. And then on our other axis over here we have the frequency. How many times does a, an individual pixel occur? So let's say there are 10,000 pixels in a photograph, uh, then you know up here would be 10,000 would be the maximum number of pixel, pixels that could occur in the photo. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at our photograph and we're going to pick out areas of uh, complete blackness, uh, areas that would be rendered as or uh, defined as zero. So probably the darkest part of the scene is here in the curtains and in the gloves. There's absolutely no detail in the gloves. Underneath the sofa here, these are all areas of uh, these are all black areas. So what the histogram does, what the computer essentially does, is, is it takes an individual pixel and, and if, it's, if it's a zero it, it puts it in here in our graph and if there's more than one it sort of stacks our pixels up and creates a bar and then as there are more pixels the bar gets higher and in this case we're going to make it higher still higher still because we have a lot of black areas so the histogram is going to be very high and we're going to ignore this 10,000 over here so this these bars might represent one, two, three, four, five uh, within our levels of darkness within the histogram now, so the, we have lots of black areas, so our histogram is going to reflect that there's a lot of black areas. Now, let's look at the highlights. We've got some highlights here that are completely blown out. So we're going to see here is a bar reflecting some blown out highlights. Um, and then there's some highlights that aren't quite so blown out. There's not many, so the bar isn't going to be very high. Now, the white of the dress is actually more of a gray. It's not a, a, a very bright white. So you're going to see this, we'll say it's about a 25% uh, gray. Let's say this is 25, this is 50, and this is 75%. So we're going to see some bars here that reflect the gray dress. And then we've got the sofa, which is sort of in between and the sofa occupies more area than the dress, so there's, there's more information there. So basically what we're doing is, we're count these bars represent pixels, and the more pixels there are of a given tone, the higher the bar is going to be. So there's lots of black areas, we have high bars. There's not a lot of highlight areas, so we have a very low bar. And these bars are distributed throughout the entire tonal range. And what happens in the histogram that we'll see is that the bars continue to get filled in. We have our highlight areas, there's not as many of those. We continue to, we continue to see fewer and fewer highlight areas. So that's why the bars get smaller and smaller. So in my 
My little diagram here, I don't have exactly 255, uh, 256 levels, but you have an idea of, of what the histogram looks like. So, in the camera, all these bars are going to be completely black. So that's basically what it is. Our histogram is a bar graph that shows how many pixels we have of any given tone. The more pixels in one area, such as our shadows, the higher the, the, the bars are going to be. The less there are, such as in our highlights, the lower the bars are going to be. Finally, here's the image loaded on the computer with the histogram, so you can see what the actual histogram looks like. And, and you can see that the histogram that I drew out is actually fairly close to the histogram that is in the computer. So hopefully you have a better understanding of histograms, and we're going to use this knowledge in our next installment to create the exposures that we need to make sure our clients are happy. So for the Photographer's Toolkit, thanks for checking in, and I hope to see you soon.